Hello everybody, Anthony here from Tone of the Chief One. Today I'll be making a tutorial in Cinema 4D on how to render your project into a video. Now let's just say you downloaded a uh, intro template off of YouTube and you edited the text, added the colors and everything, and you want to make it into a video. Well today I'm going to show you how to do that. All I have to do is just tweak a few settings in the render settings and you should be all set. Now uh, just before I get started, I just want to let you guys know that I don't use Cinema 4D that much. Um, I only use it just for making intros or for messing around with some 3D design, but I don't know I don't know that much about it, so if you leave any questions down below about you know, anything besides the tutorial I'm showing right now, then I probably won't be able to answer it. So yeah, just letting you guys know. So, alright, let's get started. So once you're finally done editing your f project and everything, you want to go to this third tab here, the third button here in the middle, it's like a movie clip thing they use in the movies. These are your render settings. So you want to go to general and then go to render engine, make sure it's at full render. Then you want to go to output and the preset will be whatever uh, preset it comes if you download an intro template or whatever like that. And you can change it if you want. I'll just keep it at that. But let's just say you want to make it a 720p uh, intro, then you want to change this to 1280 by 720. You, know, you can change these dimensions like to anything you want, but if you're making an intro for sake, um, then you want to change that to 1280 by 720 and make it HD or 1080 by no, yeah, 1080 by 720 that 1080p. I don't know, or uh, 1980 by I don't even know. I forgot the 1080p settings are. Um, so once you have those set, make sure it's set pixels. Then you want to go to resolution, and you don't have to make, mess around with this, but I say set set it up to about either 150 or 200. Um, it just makes a video look a little bit better. It doesn't do that much of a difference, but it does look make it look a little bit better. But um, then you want to go down to frame range and make sure it's at all frames, so it'll render the whole entire thing. And if you want to like, if you're, if you want to just you know set certain frames to start rendering at and ending at, you can change it here. So you can do from, which is the beginning, to, which is the end. So you can change that to your liking if you want. Then you want to go to save. Make sure that's that is checked off. And then you want to go to file, click this little button here, and uh, make sure you, when you, the output area, make sure you actually do this, because if you don't change this, then it won't render, and it'll get all messed up and everything, so make sure you want to output it to, you know, a certain area, like a certain folder, maybe in your documents, just name it whatever you want, and click save, and then you want to go to format, you want to go all the way down to AVI movie, and then go to options, then go to compressor and then Intel I IYUV codec. This one works the best. I haven't tried anything else. Um, I think this one the only one that works. Um, you can try QuickTime Movie as well, but that messes up for me a lot, so I don't really use it. So once you have all this set up, the uh, file output and the format, then you should be all set. You don't you don't need to mess with anything like multi pass or anti aliasing or options. You can if you want, but you don't really have to. So you basically just click on these three tabs, make sure it's on full render, change your resolution, make sure it's at all frames, or you know, choose what frames you want, and then save, file output to choose it to your desktop or whatever, and then format.avi or avi. So that's basically about it, and then once you're all done, just click this little middle button, and then it should start rendering all that crap. And and then it should be in a video and wherever you saved it out. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, please leave a comment down below if you have any troubles with the settings or anything. Um, please subscribe if this helped you and uh, like this video. So thanks for watching guys. See you next time.